so here's an update on my badass urban balcony container garden as you can see everything is really flourishing and taking off out here and we're having such a good time with all this uh, fresh herbs whenever I need them right on the balcony finally getting some flowers on these nasturtiums which are like these spicy floral tasting flowers that are fantastic um, my radishes have bolted, so I just went ahead and cut off the bolts, and we'll see what happens. I don't know. Peas coming in good. This one looks like it's about ready to harvest, so totally ready for this bad boy. It's nice and fat, full of nice, fresh garden peas. I got my strawberries over here. They're still sending off runners, and I'm starting to propagate a few of these runners. Um, so I got one going over here maybe stick it in one of these extra slots um, but I'm really excited about these little tiny strawberries I've never grown my own strawberries before so I got a few coming in and over here and um, these are ever bearing strawberry varieties so should be getting lots of fresh berries throughout the summer um, check this guy out this is my passion flower vine and he's really taken over that railing blooming, loving this raging hot weather we're having, but look at those beautiful flowers. They only last for about a day, um, and then they just kind of close up and fall off, but I'm really enjoying just looking out here and seeing these beautiful purple blooms coming up, and um, it's just awesome. It's just amazing. My ground cherries starting to look like it's getting flowers on there, so... I don't know when the fruit comes, but we will see. I need to harvest these greens. As you can see, they're getting a little out of control. So I got a big bowl of salad coming up soon. Um, <laughs> so this is my three sisters container. She's really taken off, these three sisters. Um, I got my huge jungle, massive zucchini plants, which I'm considering cutting one out because there's actually two planted in here. But I think I just want to let the big one go and cut the other one down. Um, this is corn. It was originally supposed to be a trellis climber for the beans, but they've decided to go up the wall instead. So I put in this cool netting um, along the wall so they can just go right up there. We'll see how many green beans I get harvested from there. Um, the corn really wasn't for eating purposes, just kind of there as a support for the beans if they need it. Um, and then the same in this little pot, I just have uh, zucchini in here, um, and then mostly just the beans coming up there. Um, but it makes me so happy. I love stuff that climbs like that. Um, I get a little buckwheat in with my... Uh, my maple just to see how that works. It's supposed to kind of uh, cover the top there and hold in moisture. So I'm enjoying these little blooms and of course they're beneficial for the pollinators. So I'll let it go. No worries. Um, these are, I think they're like bell peppers or California wonder peppers. Um, really taken off as well. I did cut off the top of this one to kind of slow it down. So I'll have a little bit of a staggered harvest from them. Um, it's a little overcrowded, so I'm, I'm going to have to pull it out a little bit so that there's a little more space there um, since that zucchini is kind of covering it. But I think those peppers are going to do fantastic. And I got another zucchini down here because I really like zucchini and it's so easy to grow. Um, so that's fun. Uh, my bee balm, my little containers here. So this is the other side. Lots more fun stuff going on. Um, so down here I got some fresh thyme. I got lemon thyme because the cats love lemon thyme. Um, my lavender has already bloomed and I already harvested the first blooms, but um, there's one there. It's just going, doing its thing. These are jalapenos that are getting pretty enormous there too. Uh, so I got two plants in here and you'll see all these nice flowers. Those will all turn into jalapenos. Um, so this is a planter with sunflowers and more beans. Um, I got my little rustic trellis going on here for my beans. Um, so they're starting to climb. I think it'll look really cool. Uh, sunflowers are not doing so great. I don't know what's going on, but 
it's all right. They're just there for support as well and for the pollinators. And down here, uh, lots of chives. Again, the cats really like chives and they're nice just to have on hand. And then I threw in some uh, scallions that I had from when I was cooking and they're already growing back immensely, which is awesome. So I'll have these out here, you know, just a way to reuse some food scraps. Um, gotta be sustainable. And these are some other sunflowers that are doing amazing. They're getting huge. I'm really excited about those. Um, I got lemongrass. The cats really like lemongrass. It just has a nice fragrant smell to it as well. Something different to include. Um, I had to tie up my roses as they're starting to like fall over, um, getting out of control there. But um, they're doing great. Lots of blooms on there. They're a little old now, so they're kind of faded. But um, yeah, it's, it's really doing awesome. And then I got my little rosemary. He's getting big. Uh, my apple tree is actually alive. I don't know if you can see all these, this fresh growth in here, but that is a good, good sign. And this is more buckwheat in there just to kind of protect the soil and keep it um, covered and healthy. Um, that's my nasturtium. It's like coming down now. I don't know. I didn't know that they made vines like that, but it's, uh, it's going crazy. Um, this is barrage. And uh, get these really pretty bright purple blue flowers on it that I just love. And they actually taste like cucumbers. You can eat them. Really fun to use as a garnish. And the leaves have the similar taste, but they're really hairy. Um, so you want like the really tender leaves for that kind of thing. But it has a nice aromatic aspect to it with that uh, cucumber kind of scent. So I'm a big fan of borage. Kind of medicinal too. Um, these are a new addition. I just got these a few weeks ago and they're already going good. These are cantaloupe plants. I got two of them there. Um, and then I <laughs> grew some watermelons. They're kind of suffering. I need to switch the cantaloupe with the watermelon so they get more sun. And then another zucchini. This one's going to have to go. Um, because they can cross pollinate with the melons and turn into a uh, weird squash melon hybrid that doesn't really work out. So I'm going to be moving this over to the other side with all the other zucchinis and just letting it do its thing. Um, the carrots and beets are looking awesome. Probably try to get in here and start um, thinning out these tops a little bit more than I did the last time. Um, that they're starting to grow in pretty good so we'll see what happens with that I'm just kind of enjoying um, the thought of having some fresh root veggies for for the fall and the winter out here and I got a little bit of herbs going on down here um, so this is a lemon balm no garden is complete without lemon balm but it's contained in a pot so it's not going to take over the whole place um, and then this is a little bay tree bay leaves so I thought that would be fun just to keep in the collection I can bring it indoors for the winter and keep it alive and it'll grow pretty tall and then that's a chamomile plant um, so that'll get really pretty like white and yellow flowers on it um, that have medicinal purposes so I'm hoping it kind of expands through that whole pot and gives me a nice harvest of chamomile and then this is another jalapeno um, not quite as large as the other ones, so um, kind of a delayed harvest is the hope. And then I got a little bit of basil seedlings down here doing really good. Just looking cute, being tiny basils. Um, and then my citronella's pretty big as well. He's got a really nice aromatic aspect and um, it's supposed to bloom. It gets like these pretty hot pink blooms. You can't even see it because of the sun. So that's everything that I have going on. But yeah, it's, it's really going crazy with this hot weather we've had and, you know, a decent amount of rain. So it's, at, you know, keeping it nice and moist and I have to water it like every single day nonstop. So that's what I'm going to do next is water everything. So give you one last little shot of every guy, everything out here. Yep, that's it. I'll see you next time.